Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm sunny and you know what the deal is. This is the tarot reading for Scorpio, Scorpio energy, cross watchers. Um, you know, any evil spirits that are haunting my channel, <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> this is for you. Yeah. Anyways, for um, anyone who has a psychic connection with the sunny side or me in particular, welcome back guys. I hope everyone is having a super amazing day. Let's get down to the reading here and see what's up. You know, Today, I, anyways, a lot of fun stuff happening these days. I'm going to do a couple of lives today because uh, I'm going to be cruising around. Let's start with a little bit of love, okay? Start with this. Oh, no, not love. <laughs> the love of this different. Not a, we'll save the spirit things for a little later. Um, guys, you know, these readings are supposed to be timeless. But, like, I'll just tell you, Venus is still retrograde. And I'm loving this Venus retrograde. I'm going to warn you guys because you guys keep asking me. Sonny is like the guy coming back. Is this the one? What the hell? You know, is going to work out? This kind of stuff. But I'm telling you, you will have buyer's remorse. You will. So obey all red flags. If there are not any red flags, if there are no red flags, then by all means, you, you should be all in. If there, I'll say it again. If there are no red flags, you should be all in. I'm an astrologer, right? <laughs> it's a... Um, however, if there are any red flags, obey them because they will be a problem. All right, let's see what these cards say. All right, come on. All right, here we go. Oh, man. First up, twin flames. Wow. Oh, man. You can burn the candle at both ends. Whoop, whoop. All right, whatever, man. Hey, man. That crazy sunny side witches. Sunny siders. You guys. They were candle shaming me. They're like, oh, Sonny, why is your candle so small? What are you trying to manifest with that? Are you going to manifest a new girl with a candle that small, Sonny? I'm like, what? I will you manage to stop candle shaming me? Assholes. <laughs> Psychic. <laughs> you guys are the best, man. All right, here we go. Twin flames. All right. There's a yin and a yang. All right. Zen, balance, union, and all that other shit on the book on the show. Twin flame. So keep your eyes open. This might work. The runner. Oh, my God. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> okay, well, I'm jogging like a mofo these days. But runner in a codependent relationship. This is a fear of intimacy, guys. So look at this. Holy smokes. Maybe there's some twin flames, but someone is uh, afraid of intimacy. You know, like I just said, these cards like do this on purpose to like Make me look bad, but like Venus is retrograde. When if Venus is retrograde, when you watch this, be the runner, okay? Obey all red flags. You will have buyer's remorse. Photograph. Oh no, this one's been coming up quite a bit. Photograph is, is um, you know, looking at old photos, missing people, reminiscing. I've been reminiscing a little bit, <laughs> so the that's the deal. Oh wow, guys. Now, this doesn't necessarily say, this doesn't necessarily say that, like, you could, like, read this, right? You could say, like, well, the runner, like, maybe someone is running from a twin flame relationship because either they're hung up on the past or they're afraid of repeating the past or something about the past or they're nostalgic and it's, not, you know, they it didn't work out and they're afraid to do it again. But, oh, that's too bad, guys. Let's pull three more cards. I really like, I really like the reading for this deck. All right, next. Girl talk. Oh yeah, welcome to the sunny side. Time with friends. Oh man, I'm I'm going out on the motorcycle today. I'm going for a ride. So I'm like my my girl talk. My time with friends is alone time. Well, it's Scorpio, happily single. Yeah, living in the moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know the best part about riding a motorcycle? There's no consequences. If you get in any kind of trouble, you're dead. <laughs> like you're dead. There's no. There's nothing to deal with. <laughs> you're, dead, you're done. It's, you're done. It's, oh, man. It's a very permanent kind of experience. Butterfly. Oh, that's so cute. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child growth. Oh, man. Well, okay. Like, so personally, that looks like a really pretty thing. But, like, it's a we live in a for better or worse kind of uh, life. So, on one hand, relationships evolving to the next phase is you know, maybe you are, something is going to evolve here. Maybe something is going to happen. Maybe you're going to, you know, something's going to work out. Uh, but it could also mean breaking up, right? Once again, this is a Venus retrograde. And that is, for a lot of people, break up energy and red flags. So be cool, guys. Just be cool. Take it easy. 
All right. And next. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. Ascending. Hey, wow. Nice. Oh, wow. Love. Oh, wow. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, man. I think I should just read these cards from now on. All right. Transcending. You're ascending, guys. Wow. Maybe there you go. And love. Unconditional love. Self love. Oneness. Passion. Effect. Wow, that looks pretty good. All right, let's go see what... Well, that's pretty good, man. All right, that's pretty good. Oh, no, I forgot to do a thing of thing. All that talk of the candle shaming. <laughs> all that talk of candle shaming. I forgot to... Summoning all angels, demons, and crazy mofos. Here we go. What's going on with the cards? Scorpio, this looks pretty good. It's really fun. That looks really good. But, like, be careful, man. Because, like, remember, obey all red flags. Next. Dun, 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 dun. What do we have here? Seven of Cups. Oh, wow. You really have options, Scorpio? Is that a thing? I'm a Scorpio. I, you have so many. You don't even know you have options. <laughs> yeah, good point. Either do, <laughs> What is this? King of Cups. Holy jeez. Wow. Well, someone really wants to come in and take your action to the next level for real. Butterfly or not. <laughs> All right. Wow. Maybe it's someone from the past with a photograph here, which <laughs> well, everyone I know just <laughs> whatever. King of Cups, the lovers reversed. Maybe they're having difficulty making it together, right? Or maybe you, your person who's like, you don't know who it is because like, this reading is partially for me and I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so like, I'm thinking, all I'm thinking about is stay off the streetcar tracks. When I go, all right, so the lovers reversed. Maybe they're having trouble getting to you, right? Like maybe your person's in trouble. Maybe they're in trouble. There's the teacher, the Hierophant, right? There's maybe they're stubborn. There's some book smarts. It looks like you, you can't figure it out. You know, like this is not using your intuition. So you have a lot of options, I guess, Scorpio, and you're not sure what options to take. You are um, indecisive right now, right? This card, indecisiveness, not knowing what to do. But there's love somewhere. Anyways, I look at it like this. Lovers reversed. Then the hair fan. What are you going to do, man? <laughs> At the best of times, I wouldn't have said it. <laughs> With the best of times, if you put the hair fan on top of the lovers, you're going to have a crazy experience. <laughs> there you go. Knight of Pentacles. That's right, man. Scorpio, you focus on your Quan. This is the this is um, this is the guy with the money. That's right. Oh, yeah. You, you guys hang out right there. OK, good. Next. <laughs> good. That's what you should be focused on. Taking care of your money right now, Scorpio. Oh, no, the nine of wands reversed. Well, it looks like someone's looking about giving up. Wow. Wow, like you're really going to give up. Oh, wow, that new beginning didn't happen. Oh, you're really giving up. Oh, wow, Scorpio, you're giving up. Oh, wow, that's not good. That's good. This is a good card. Let's back this up a bit. It looks like you're walking away. Like this looks like this didn't work out. This ace of wands, that new beginning, that creative project or that new person or that hottie down the action didn't really pan out. And over here, that nine of, you know, this means you're giving up or someone's giving up on you. But there does appear to be quite a bit of money coming in. Scorpio, congratulations. And the four of cups. Yeah, you're turning your back on this. You're turning your you're turning your back on this, Scorpio. It looks like you're not you're not interested in this. You, you're going to this is a problem you don't really want. All right. Next. All right. So yeah, give up on it. You're <laughs> like, give up on it. Focus on the money. Take your time. Now, the moon card. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. Like, this means this. Like, you have the seven of cups, indecisiveness, and then the moon card, a card of darkness, you know, where you have to kind of overcome your own personal demons. Wow, Scorpio. Well, what demons does Scorpio have to overcome? We all, know, we all know what's going on. We all know this is a love reading. It's pretty obvious. It says love right there. Like, hello. <laughs> it's so like, it's a twin flame, love, whatever. But you're giving up. You're giving up. There's a darkness. You're in darkness. You don't know what's going on. Maybe you're waiting for some answers on something. But like, like I said earlier, maybe you're. I'm like, I'm gonna stick to this. You guys have one more week to wait. Just wait. Go out, have fun, cruise, do your action. You know, be fun. Get stupid. Just do look at the devil card. <laughs> the devil card reversed. So now we all know Scorpio is cool with the devil card, but like, like. You want the moon and the devil? I don't know that that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know if that's something that you really want to do so much. This is like devil's reverse. There's too much excess, guys. There's either too much drinking, too much partying. Maybe there's some... This hidden, 
right? There's some kind of thing is hidden here, or it's a dark, or confusion, and and so it looks to me like so Scorpio, someone betrayed you. <laughs> like obviously, this Knight of Coins, right? These guys are the same part. It's reverse. That person wants some money from you. They like they're not getting it. They're not getting it. And the Knight of Swords, they ghosted you. You know what? You're under a cloud of confusion over here. But they ghosted you. They're not communicating with you. Maybe they lied to you, right? Maybe it's coming. They're contacting you because maybe they think you have money or something. Or maybe, you, you know, you look really nice in a bikini. Whatever, Scorpio. Fuck it. I mean, <laughs> whoops, it's your action. <laughs> and it's whatever. There you go. Be careful, man. Next. Dun, dun, dun. Three of Cups. Well, there is a party coming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, Scorpio, what's with this party? Well, the, you're supposed to meet some, but guys, you're going to Scorpio, single Scorpios are going to meet somebody. It is going to happen. Tune into the live streams when I do the astrology, right? On Thursdays and Saturdays. And I'll tell you, or the um, when we do the uh, Psychic League, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. All right, next. Here we go. Da -na -na -na. Oh, you're letting go of a burden. So you can, I think, I think this is getting rid of a burden. This card's a burden, right? It's reversed. Getting rid of it. Getting rid of a burden. So you can party it up, Scorpio. Oh, yeah. The Emperor. Oh, no. You got to get rid of the Emperor. You got This Emperor is not a cool Emperor. It's not a cool Emperor. You got to get rid of all of this stuff. You got to figure it out. And then you can party. Well, it's not a good party, man. Well, the Knight of Pentacles moving especially slow. <laughs> so, like, yeah, it's not, it's not really happening. Scorpio, what do we need? We're going to pull another. We got to put a card right here and see what's really happening with Scorpio love. But seriously, man, like you're a Scorpio. There's always love wherever you want to go. But like, it looks like, you, uh, well, I'm telling you, be patient. This, this party, there's something preventing, right? Like this is not cool, right? This is not cool. You have to give up a narcissist dragging your ass and then the hermit, right? Maybe, you know, you got to figure out what you want. All right, next. King of Cups. Oh, yeah. Scorpio being Scorpio. Oh, who doesn't want to be like this? Oh, my God. That guy. Oh, man. Well, I got to say, I was thinking this guy looks like he does a thousand sit-ups every day, but we all know it's airbrushed. <laughs> okay, whatever. Whatever. All right, Scorpio. It's going to work out. You're going to have... Scorpio, these guys around... Uh, Scorpio, I don't... A lot of people... All the tarot readers are saying that you've already met... Uh, the person or that, but like, I'm I'm telling you, without with 100% certainty, 100%. Obey all red flags. You will have buyer's remorse if there is a little problem right now. That little problem is going to turn into a very big problem. Right now, the grass is not greener on the other side, but it will be. And you just have to tough it out for another week. <laughs> so everybody be cool. It's <laughs> everybody be cool. And that's the action. But if you want to play a little game of crash and burn and you want to like, <laughs> you know, if you want to pay for readings saying, hey, Sonny, <laughs> hey, Sonny, like, are they going to come back? <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to, it's, this is not a good, this is not, <laughs> this is, just be cool. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the view. Maybe you're going to meet a friend. And that's the action. Oh, you want one of these little love cards? You want to see what spirit says? Oh, my God, study. Let's see what spirit says, and then we'll boogie out. Oh, man. I'll catch you guys at the coffee shop today. I'm going to go for a thing. Okay, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder if you're happy without me. No. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. The... um. I'm not, but I'm not generally a happy guy to begin with. Because <laughs> like, all right, what's next? You came closer than anyone. <laughs> I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that. And finally, I know it was a distraction from your pain. Oh, come on, man. Give me a good one. Let's end the show on uh, this video on a good one. Boom. You and I were too young. That's not good. Come on, like a good one. I want you. Ooh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give that to my lunch. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Be cool, guys. Right? <laughs> Be cool. Get out there. Have a lot of fun. Enjoy the day. Subscribe to the channel. 
And that's the action from the sunny side.net. I'm sunny wishing everyone the best of a super amazing day. And I'll see you guys soon.